How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the I Do High Speed Hair Dryer. Now, it looks just like a Dyson. Is it a dupe? The intake is right at the bottom of the handle. The design is super similar. There is no center hole. It says I Do brand right on the top. It resembles one, but there are so many differences that I can pick up that it's not one right away. Now, there's just two speed to it. This first button is medium and high fan speed. This button controls a heat. Normal hair dryers use brushed motors. You can easily tell just from the sound of this thing, it uses a high speed brushless motor. How do you tell? Well, when you turn it on, you can hear a very high pitch spinning sound. Listen. I do high speed hair dryer. Quick guide card, user manual, the bag, and nothing else at the bottom. You have these magnetic attachments. Another one right here. Fine mesh intake you can clean. Locked with a triangle screw, so they really don't want you to open it. Magnetic everything. And let's open that up. 1500 watt hair dryer, model IG04. So the deal with the Dyson is it has a hole in the middle so that when it pushes air through here, it pulls more air from outside, not just through its intake. So they call that a multiply effect. We'll see how much air comes out of this. This is fan control off, low, and high. And when it's on, it's hot, low, medium heat, high heat. So it feels like three and a half ounces in low, and we turn it on the high, it's about 5.8 ounces of force. I can go really close, you get 10 ounces, but most likely you'll use it like kind of, you know, a couple inches away or six inches away like that. In that case, you know, you'll feel a couple of ounces on your head. It's fairly secure unless you try to pull it off on purpose. And it also comes with a thinner nozzle. It sucks significant air through here. Let's test the reset switch. Turn it on. Yep, it works. Press reset and it turns back on. Listen to the switch. And this one. Comes with the carrying bag. That in there. Probably want to fit this diffuser in there and also the nozzle. Then you can carry this everywhere. In terms of wattage, let's turn it on. Full. About 1400 watts. On low is 123 watts. Medium is 1163 watts. We got the thermal camera over here. We'll see how hot it gets my hair. Put it on hot setting. And we'll also see how long it takes to dry my hair. Hot air blowing at a very fast rate. Normally it only takes me a minute. I'm recording around 55 seconds or so. I find the high speed stuff with the brushless motor, it actually dries your hair a bit faster because there's a lot more air moving through. Let's turn this thing on to high. We'll see how hot it gets my hand. This is about a foot away. 100 feels pretty hot already. And then if I put it closer, Ow, 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 ow. 105 is a little bit too hot to the touch. I turn it on cool, I cool it down, or medium. As we saw with the energy usage, medium is kind of like 75% on rather than like 50% on. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, I'd say it's more like a no frills, Dyson-like hair dryer. It has simple control and sometimes that's all you need. If you guys are interested in this one, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.